So once you've got everything together, now you can go into Power Editor and start creating your ads. So we need to ensure that we know our landing page URL, where we're going to send the traffic to. We have Add Copy and Call to Action. We have our ads images created and tested for 20% text rule. We know who we're going to target, so our audience information. And we've successfully activated conversion tracking on the landing page. That's a thank you page or confirmation page. So once you have all this together, then you can go to Power Editor, which is, again, accessible through Facebook Ads Manager. And then here on the side, you've got Power Editor option. Uh, so you go to Power Editor. Um, you here select your account if you have multiple accounts. Uh, first, you need to download your account into Power Editor uh, because Power Editor doesn't synchronize all the data feeds automatically with Facebook. So um, you'll do all your changes kind of almost offline in Power Editor, and then um, when you are finished then you upload your changes and then everything that's happening on Facebook ads between each your download is not automatically synced in here so we've downloaded the power editor and now we can go to campaigns and then we click create a new campaign so we give campaign a name that will understand what's it about so this will be free SEO guide so we'll leave it as auction campaign for, for Facebook to bid on our behalf. Um, and then objection objective. So these are all the different goals that you can have for your campaign. Um, if you want people to enter your email list, then normally you'll be advertising for website conversions. Um, if you're selling something, you could use um, sales on the website. If you're just boosting a post on a page and you want to actually get engagement, comments, and shares, but you're not bothered about having conversions or clicks, then you can have uh, page likes and page, po page post engagement. And then if you want to do a video ad, then you'll need to use this video views, um, the last option. Um, once the campaign has been created, you can't change the objective anymore. So if you've chosen the wrong one, then you'll have to create a new campaign in order to change it. So we've created a campaign that will be for advertising our SEO guide. Next, we need to go to Ad Sets. And here we need to create Ad Sets. Um, you would need to select an Ad Set for each type of targeting that you use. So if you're targeting, if you want to split test different pages, like Tony Robbins against Sandy Krakowski, then you'll have two ad sets, one targeting Tony Robbins, one targeting Sandy Krakowski. If you want to have, um, if you want to split test having um, men against women, then you'll need to have ad set for men and ad set for women. If you want to have an ad set testing people on your email list against other people on Facebook for some other targeting, then you'll need to have a separate ad set for your email list. So we'll select our campaign. We need to select our pixel that we've already done. So it goes there. I call it Pinterest ebook. So we've selected the pixel and now we can name the ad set again. Uh, try to be consistent with your names, but also descriptive so you can easily work out what each ad set um, is targeting and promoting. So now I've created my ad set. It's, it's got the conversion pixel already set up. Then in this section, budget and schedule, I can choose how much I want to spend, either per day or a whole lifetime budget. So if my campaign um, has a fixed ending point, then I can say I, I just want to spend, say, $100 or £100 pounds on it, um, or my lifetime budget to promote this offer is £100. Pounds. 
or I can just say I want to run it on a 10 pound a day budget or five pound a day I left you how much you want to choose um, then you can start it pretty much straight away as soon as it's uploaded and approved by Facebook or you can set a future day to start like now I can start a campaign say for next Monday if I want to start promoting my guide only on Monday I can also say I want to end it on next Friday which is what I would always use when I'm promoting webinars so my campaign will finish when the webinar starts and then you can also decide if you want to run the ads all the time um, so because for example my audience is in the US and UK and Australia then they are online in total pretty much 24 7 so um, I just run my ads all the time but if you're only advertising for a specific local area then you can choose to um, run ads at just specific times during the day so the next one is your audience and here we use our audience research to say who we're going to target so I could say I can just target anyone in the UK women of 28 to say 50 um, so here I'll need to select Tony Robbins. And now Facebook showing me that potential reach is 160,000 people. Um, I can also here select behavior or business owners. And now it's dropped down to 38,000 people. If I put, for example, Facebook page admins, it's 70,000 people. So you can play with different interest groups and behaviors and see how um, your audience here um, goes big or smaller. Uh, I normally aim for around 100K as an audience, unless I'm using uh, custom audiences. Um, so 70 to about 150 is a good size uh, for the audience to reach. Uh, you can also, I'll show you next. Uh, okay, so here is connections. You can say people who are connected to your page, or you can leave it blank and then anyone on Facebook will be targeted. But if you want to promote something just to your fans, then you won't be using interest groups or behaviors. You will leave this normally as open as possible. Um, you'll you can select um, all the countries where you want to target your fans from. And then here you'll say um, pay people who like your page or people who like your page and their friends. And you can also obviously here exclude people who like your page. So in this case, your ads will run uh, for people new on Facebook so who don't know about you yet. so that's audience set up for this um, ad set the next one is placement where the ads will appear uh, so mobile newsfeed we want to keep desktop newsfeed we want to keep uh, the desktop right column you can test and see if your ads work there well or not um, I normally switch it off and I also switch off audience network uh, as I don't want my ads to run on some third party websites um, or apps or games but again, you can test it and see if you're going to get any good results from it. Uh, finally, you've got optimization and pricing here. So you can optimize for website conversions, which is the goal of your campaign. So people actually sign up for your email list in order to get this free SEO guide. Uh, or you can optimize for clicks. Uh, in this case, Facebook will try to get as many clicks as possible towards your website. Um, or you can optimize for unique daily reach. So as many people per day will see your ad as possible. Uh, and you can optimize for impressions, which is similar to unique daily reach, but uh, this is not unique, and this will be unique people. Um, if it's your first campaign, it's best to leave it as website conversions, if that's what you want to get, website conversions. Um, and also you can say get the most conversions at the best price, 
and then you can just see what kind of costs you, you'll start getting. Once you get an idea of what kind of costs you can get on Facebook for your particular business and offers, then you can start setting a limit on what each conversion can be worth to you. So you can say, I don't want to pay more than pound 20 for each of my conversions. And then your, obviously, ads delivery will be affected based on how Facebook knows people will behave when you see the ads like this. So that's it. That's our first ad set up, ad set. Then I go into actual ads. And then I need to create an ad. So I select my campaign, my ad set. And if I wanted to test two different images, then I can have ad one, ad two for different images and so on. So create the ad. Here you can select your business page. And like I said, sometimes when you are promoting a different offer, people will still be liking your page. Um, so that's how my page has been growing a number of likes. I haven't been advertising for just likes, but because I keep advertising different webinars, uh, I keep getting more and more likes on my business page. So here you can choose if you want to just have single image or if you have this multi offer, multi um, link ad. Um, so here you would put your URL. Um, let, let's assume this is my um, URL. If you use lead pages, the main like this one, it's best to use a um, shortened link like uh, Hootly, Bitly, um, instead of a lead pages.net because Facebook doesn't like people having all these pages sitting on the same domain, as for, for them, they, they might look like it's replicating the same content. So that's why it's better to have a shortened link in this case. If it's a page on your domain, so if I actually added um, this lead pages page to my domain, then I could just use my domain. Like if I'm promoting my webinars, I'll just put virtual marketing card in me. Can't type anymore. And now Facebook picked up um, information from the link, but then we can obviously customize it all. So display link is this little gray writing at the bottom. You can leave it as is, or you can um, customize it with another call to action or information about your offer. Uh, this text is the text that appears above your link here. Okay. So this is a text on my next webinar about landing pages. So I can just paste it here. So as you can see, it appeared here and it gets cut off because the text is too long to just appear um, above without getting cut off. You can try to rewrite it, shorten it. Then the headline is these big letters just below your picture. And then the news link description is the smaller letters below the headline and the display URL. So again, here you can put something to, um, as a call to action or a description of your offer. And then it's automatically changed. Uh, call to action, we can choose here and you can test ads with different call to action. So on this one, I can say download. On a different ad, I could say learn more. And then I can see what, what ad works better. And then we need to select our picture. So we need to upload the image that we've created. So 
So that's my add now setup. And then here we check that conversion pixel is still selected. And it, it, you can also leave it as a tracking pixel. But if on your website you have, uh, say, some, some products for sale that have additional tracking pixels, then you can select those additional pixels here. Um, and then Facebook will track not just your main conversion objection objective, but also additional tracking pixels here. So that's my ad now done.